60% of your DevOps repetitive tasks are automated intelligently. Microsoft has turned this into reality with Microsoft Agentic DevOps. It gives your team superpowers to focus on what really matters. With Microsoft Agentic DevOps, routine tasks are handled by AI while your team focus on breakthrough innovation. Hi, this is Murli Dulam, founder of Ideas Portal Private Limited, architect trainer in the area of DevSecOps Azure AWS Kubernetes with AML IoT integration. Till now, I have trained more than 5,000 plus students and 1,000 plus students working with top MNCs. Today, we are going to discuss about agentic DevOps. Let us see that. Now, let us discuss about Microsoft AI agentic DevOps. So here, let us try to observe evolution. So here, the different stages are there. Just see, first initial stage, manual coding. After that, AI assistance. Now we are seeing agentic DevOps. Let us see manual coding first. First, let us try to observe STLC traditional best practices. So here you can see. So this is a client. So some XYZ client, let us say. So we are trying to receive the requirements from the clients. So once it is done, some company is a ABC organization. So here we received requirements from client. Once it is done, they will try to assign users to rest with different teams like developer and other teams. Just imagine developers. Now our developers started building code, right? And here these are all different stages you can see. Version control, build, image, release, different stages. So once it is done, our user, he will try to access the application, right? After that, so he will try to collect each and every stage feedback. If anything goes wrong, we'll try to capture issues with monitoring or observability tools. Then we can send it back to our planning team. Right? So this is the process you can see. So this is a traditional process. Right? Traditional. So here, let us try to focus coding. Right? So while developers, they are trying to develop the code, they're using traditional best practices. So just see him. Manual coding. So after that, we observe like is AI assistance. Suppose if you are trying to write some code, auto completions. Example, whenever you're writing some code like ARM templates or Terraform, so it will give you some auto completions. So we observe these scenarios also. Now we are discussing about agentic DevOps. So with agentic DevOps, we need to observe different layers. Let us see one by one. Okay. So first one, GitHub Copilot agentic workflows. So first, let us see how to enable Go GitHub Copilot. Let us see that. Okay. GitHub Copilot, let us see. So here you can see, this is my GitHub. This is my GitHub portal. So within that portal, just go to your settings. So here you can see, just go to your settings. Copilot. So here there is an option called Copilot. Just see here. So here we enable Copilot, right? Copilot free, free trial currently we are using, right? And install Copilot in your editor. I already installed my Copilot editor. Let me show you that, right? So your usage also, you can see that, okay? So just see. So response limited to 2,000 code completion and 50 chart messages per month, okay? Now just see. So here I enable cloud-based GitHub, also Copilot. Copilot for our desktop also, GitHub desktop. And also just see, like other option, like here I disable Copilot search for web. And also I enable Anthropic Cloud. So here already completed integration between GitHub as well as Cloud. So previous MCP with the Cloud, here already completed integration. And also just see, here you can see Gemini, Google Gemini uh, models, Copilot also, you can enable that. Right? Also privacy part also, you can see that. Suppose if you are trying to provide some privacy-related metrics, so here you can see that, okay? Now, 
allow GitHub to use my data for production improvements. So based on your organization requirements, you can allow that. Also, you can see visibility also. Okay. So these are all options you can see that. Right. After that, there is one more option called coding agent. So let us see coding agent. Right. So here I allow this agent to only specific repository. So you can allow this access to all the repositories or you can allow it to only specific repository, right? So here I allowed only specific repository called some XYZ, right? Some repository here allowed, okay? Now, now let us see, just go back to your uh, GitHub Copilot workflows also. So here different modes are there. Ask mode, edit mode, agent mode. So ask mode, it refers Suppose if you are trying to, uh, if you need some explanation related to existing code, so you can use ask mode. Edit mode, suppose if you are trying to change existing code, you can use edit mode. Or if you are trying to separate, set up some uh, completions like a build rest, rest API endpoint, these are all things you can use our agent mode. Let me show you that in our Visual Studio code also. Let me show you that. This is the Visual Studio code and also just see how to enable our GitHub Copilot extension within our GitHub our Visual Studio code also, right? Just see here. So here, this is a, my GitHub uh, Visual Studio code. Within that, you can search your Copilot extension. First, you need to enable Copilot extension. So this is the extension. So here, I already enabled my Copilot extension, your AI pair programmer, right? So here, I enable Copilot chart also automatically enable. If you enable this extension, so it automatically it will be enabled. Right. One more uh, option is the GitHub Copilot for Azure, specifically Azure also there. Right. So here I enable Copilot extension now. Now, once it is done, this is my code, test code, right? And also just see, this is my uh, product requirements, also a CQA document, right? So you can see that these are my requirements. This is my product requirements. I generated through my Copilot as well as SCQ for my uh, product, food delivery app, okay? And also here I generated my code also. Just, just see here. This is open chart. Just try to click open chart. Right. Once you click here, just see, here it is showing by default option is ask mode. Right. Just now here we discussed it, right? Ask mode. Request ex explanation about existing code. Suppose if you are trying to ask some questions, here it will help you on that, right? Now, so next steps. Also just see what type of models it is supporting, different models. Our co-pilot, it is supporting different models. You see here, these are all models it is supporting, okay? GP, GPT 4.1, 4.0, CLAD, Sonnet, right? O3, different models it is supporting. Suppose if you need more models, just try to click this option. Currently we are using free trial, Let me you open this. So here you can see, you need to upgrade your version, just see. So these are all things you need to see. Pay, per, pay monthly or pay yearly, right? So just see here, unlimited agent mode, chart with GPT 4.1, right? And uh, uh, unlimited code completions, anthropic and other models, right? So these are all things you can see. Just try to click this option and observe this as well, okay? Now, as of now, we don't want to use Pro. Let us use free trial, okay? Now, so here you can ask some questions also. Here you can ask some questions also. Just see, suppose if you want to ask some questions like uh, GitHub, right? You can ask GitHub to raise some PRs, raise uh, the raw things you can ask GitHub so that it will perform, right? Just enter get, at the rate, it will give you different workspaces also. So these are all things you can work Right. You can enter at, at the rate, then you can start working with that. Now, so here we observe Visual Studio Code options also. How to enable your co-pilot in Visual Studio Code. Also, what type of modes are they? Ask mode, edit mode, agent mode, we can see differences. Also here we observe different models as well. Different uh, uh, GitHub models also, you can see that. Okay. Also there is a document, you can see that GitHub models also, official document different models also here you can refer that okay now next 
So here we observed our GitHub Copilot models as well as modes as well, different modes. Okay. So next, let us see. Now we need to focus our op side. Okay. So here we discussed our Copilot for development side. Now let us see SRE, Site Reliability Engineering. If anything goes wrong, just see these are all metrics you can see. Problem de detection. If anything goes wrong, how to detect your issues? Also, how to find out root cause analysis, right? Also automated incident resolution. These are all things we can simplify with our SRE agent, SRE Azure SRE agent. Previously, we did uh, our one video, video as well. You can refer that as well. Right? So Azure SRE, you can see that. Currently, it is in preview mode. So once we receive a subscription, then we can start implementing this scenario as well. Okay. So next one. Okay. So here, next one, we need to discuss about a foundry. Right? So Copilot, it will take care of how to improve your coding best practices, how to accelerate with your AI-related, agent-related best practices. And then foundry, a foundry, it will accelerate how to build your applications, how to deploy your applications, right? So it will accelerate that. So just see, okay. So here you can see different components. Azure AI Foundry, GitHub models, as well as AI agent workflows. So let us try to open this AI Foundry as well. Let us open that AI Foundry. Let me open my subscription here. So here you can see a foundry. A foundry you can see. Okay. Also one more option called open AI student. You see. So here you can see create a foundry resource, manage a resources, explore best practices. Right. So let's see him. So let us create resource. So before that, let us me open our Open AI also. Let me open Open AI. Let me open Azure Open AI. So this is the Open AI. So within that, okay. So just see, this is the Open AI. So here I can create Azure Open AI service. Okay. So let us create it. Let me use some resource group. Okay. Some test. Okay. And also you can mention some version. So pricing type I'm using standard. And also you can review your content review policy as well. Okay. So as of now, I'm using internet, but you can restrict this scenario. Now, just create it. Now, just see. Now, we are ready with our AI service. Just see here. Build your own uh, secure co-pilot and generate AI applications with Azure Open AI service. So explore and deploy. Just let us click this option. Azure AI Foundry portal. And before that, just see how to secure or how to protect your environment. You just see here. Azure offering keys and endpoints. Right? You can use key vaults as well as encryption. Also, you can select best pricing tire. Also, you, you can protect your environment also. Right? So there are all options are there. In addition to that, identity, other options also you can see that. Now just go back to your A. Playground, let's see here, A Foundry Playground. Now you can see. Now you can see Playground. And within that, let us try to observe model catalog also. Right? So different model catalogs. These are all models available. LLM models, you see, these are all models. As for your usage, you can see that. Also just see Playgrounds. Chart playground, right? So different scenarios to see assistants, right? Chart assistant, similar way video, right? Compelling video assist using 
text input, text to video, right? Different scenarios, audio, as well as similar way, images. So modify, interact with playground and uh, your images also, right? Also auto completions. These are all solutions you can use it. Right? Now let us see models also, right? Now just see, just try to set up some chart playground first. Let us see uh, basic options. So let me create deployment. For that, we need one model. Okay. So you can select one model. I'm trying to select one model. And while selecting that, you need to select deployment type. So as of now, I'm selecting global standard and deploy. So this is the one now, right? This is the model currently we selected, right? So here you can mention your instructions, okay? Give the model instructions and context. What is the context you need to mention? Also just see data sources also. So different data sources. Okay. So let us say we, we are trying to set up chatbot for our organization, a customer supports, let us say. So whatever data you say, so here you can provide that. What type of data sources we can provide? Let us see here. So here it is showing some options. These are all options you can see that. Azure ASH blob, right? So these are all, you suppose if you are having your own files, you can also upload that. Currently it is in preview mode, right? So these are all options you can see. Once you mention all these things, we can start getting your responses, right? So here the important component is Azure ASH, right? We'll see that later, separate class, separate video. Let us discuss that. Okay. Now, just come back to your AI, AI Foundry now, right? So AI Foundry, train and customize your AI models for your customized DevOps requirements, right? That's the main scenario. And also you see, in terms of DevOps, we are discussing now, and GitHub models are related to our infrastructure as well as application. These scenarios also, we can start utilizing our GitHub models also. Also, let us see official document, A Foundry, the app and agent factory, right? So just see here, okay? These are all different use cases, just see. A chart, A agents, right? So also your customer data, these are all scenarios you can see, okay? So production, deploy A application with production, these are all things you can see. And also just see capabilities, use cases as well as capabilities, right? So multi-agent, support cloud and edge deployment. These are all different capabilities you can see. Now let us see real world impact. So just compare traditional DevOps as well as agentic DevOps, right? So in terms of production code, code uh, development as well as bug resolution, deployment speed, incident response, there is a huge change in this area. So now, till now we discussed these areas like agentic models, GitHub Copilot models, also modes we observed, also we observed capabilities like Azure SRE agent, and also we observed Azure AI Foundry. Okay. Let us see this official documentations also. Azure Foundry, AI Foundry we observed, as part of our agentic DevOps we observed AI Foundry, SRE agent, also co-pilot, right, coding agent, and within that models, different GitHub models, also modes as well we observed. Next video, let us try to set up end-to-end -end scenarios with agentic DevOps. If you like this video, please share it and subscribe, and see you in the next video.